Heidi Ho, YouTubers. About a week ago, I started getting copies of emails from Ron Foster. They were emails between him and the people at Stove Tech Stoves. To make a long story short, what happened is three of us here on YouTube, Low Buck Prepper, Staying Awake 20, the Swede, and I, were to receive demo models of the stove deck stove and we're supposed to do reviews of it. I knew the stove was going to be a good product before I ever got it because the people at Stove Tech were aware that all three of us had said we weren't going to pull any punches. We were going to put the thing through its paces. So I knew the product was good because they were standing behind it and sending them out to us anyway. It takes a while for the Pony Express to reach me in the middle of nowhere, so I've been kind of upstaged by the Swede and Lowbuck. They've already done their videos. As a matter of fact, the Swede's done, I think, five videos on this stove now. Maybe 45 minutes worth. I'm going to post links down below and I encourage you to go look at them. I did take the stove out this morning and cooked up some breakfast for the missus and I. It was a tough time because it was raining when I started and the wind was gusting to 20 miles an hour. Once the wind died down, it burned like a champ, and we had a real nice breakfast. Look, I can't say a whole lot more about this stove than Swede and Lowbrook have already done. It's a well-built, highly efficient little stove. I, I cook breakfast on a handful of sticks. You can't beat that. It's heavy. Yeah, and there's a reason for that. I'll get into it later. You're not going to pack it in your bug out bag, that's for sure. But for bugging in, it's a great product. And if you've got a designated bug out location, you could cache this thing here, there, and it'd be there ready and waiting for you. It's a great product. The price point's a little high for some preppers but you get what you pay for. Heavy cast iron, highly insulated. Once I got it going good, the thing produced virtually no smoke, which means it's burning really efficiently. What's been really interesting for me to watch is as the Swede and Lowbuck have gotten their videos up over the weekend, the people at Stove Tech have been watching those videos very carefully. And the emails have been still going back and forth between them and Ron. They're acting as if they have a giant focus group on their stoves. Anyhow, during one of those emails, they happen to mention the name of an outfit called the Aprovecho Research Center. When I saw that, I thought to myself, Aha! A rabbit hole. Now, I'm the kind of guy, when I find a rabbit hole to jump in, I'll go right on down. And I'll squeeze my way into the very end of every tunnel I can find in that rabbit warren, because down in the end is where you find the dirt. The only problem is, I couldn't find any. You see, as it turns out, Aprovecho Institute or research center is a highly regarded humanitarian outfit. Their whole purpose is to design and deliver stoves to people around the world in developing countries who need it. As I went from tunnel to tunnel in this rabbit hole, I discovered that in an awful lot of countries like Sudan and Haiti and places where people live in horrible conditions. 
deforestation from cooking fires is a big problem. And in these countries that are mostly chauvinistic, women wind up doing the chores and they have to travel very long distances to gather the firewood and when they get it back they burn it on an open fire inside their house. Children and women in these countries are suffering from all kinds of maladies in great numbers from pneumonia to upper respiratory infections and it's killing people. And Aprovecho's goal is to cure that problem. They mentioned one in one of their emails that they had to redesign their stoves and put a steel liner in them. That's because in Haiti, for some weird reason, people tend to have a habit of poking at their fires with a butcher knife and they were chipping out the clay liner. The only way Aprovecho could find this out, I think, is that they shipped thousands of them to Haiti after the big earthquake there. The Aprovecho Research Center was started 30 years ago by the guy by the name of Larry Winiarski, Dr. Larry Winiarski. We call him Dr. Larry for short. Now Dr. Larry, believe it or not, is the guy who actually invented rocket stoves. So you know these stoves have a high pedigree. An awful lot of people in the world are living in places like refugee camps and there's a great need for a way to cook food there as well. So Aprovecho has designed a larger model, an institutional model. It cooks 60 liters of food at one time or for those of us in the US that's a little shy of 16 gallons. It's made in Oregon mostly. The little stoves were made in China and there's a good reason for that. There's a place where they can dig up a clay that comes out of the ground with thousands of tiny bubbles and once it's kiln fired it's super insulated. You can't find this clay anywhere else in the world and in fact Aprovecho got a three million dollar grant to try and reproduce it with materials here in the US they found that it couldn't be done. I mentioned before that the bigger stoves are mostly made in Oregon. Mostly because Aprovecho's designed what they call a factory in a box. It contains all the tools and dyes necessary to make the stoves right on site in the countries where they're needed most. Like I said before, Lobuck and the Swede have done such a wonderful job of testing this stove that anything I tried to show you would be just more of the same. I am, however, going to try and bring out an old uh, on top of the wood stove oven that I have and see if I can fit it on top of the stove and maybe next weekend I'll try to do some baking for you. There's an idea for the R&D guys at Aprovecho. Oh, I didn't mention, they've got an entire R&D department where they've invented all kinds of nifty stuff to go with their stoves. Like an autoclave to go on the bigger stoves so that doctors in developing countries can use it to sterilize medical equipment. And then there's a water pasteurizer that I guess we're going to get to review pretty soon. They've invented things like portable testers so they can tell how much smoke people are actually breathing in their homes. And they even have a prototype for a lantern that looks really cool. Aprovecho started Stove Tech up in 2008 as a what they call a not just for profit company which means that part of the profits from Stove Tech go to send in stoves to people who need them. Since 2008, they've shipped 70,000 of their little stoves out to people into the developing world. I'll post a whole bunch of links down below. Look, if you're even halfway interested in purchasing one of these stoves, look at all the links and review all the videos that Swede and Lobuck have done. 
I'm not getting a penny for doing this review, although I did get the stove for free, and I want to thank Stove Tech for giving me this great addition to my preps, as well as thanking Aprovecho and Stove Tech for the opportunity in my own small way to help them with their cause. If you do decide to buy one of their stoves, use the coupon code PREPPER1. They'll give you an extra couple bucks off and free shipping, which is a big deal because they're heavy. Oh yeah, I said that was on purpose. They made the stoves a little heavy so that they wouldn't tip over and burn little kids. Well, I hope the information I've given you here has helped out. and Remember this always. Plan, prepare. Think outside the box and we will get through this.